Welcome everyone, and welcome to Branson, Missouri. Let's have a great day today. Now that is Legos saying greetings from Branson. That is pretty cool. Where are y'all from? Now there is a train set. It wraps all the way around. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, this is a this book called The Prayer of the Utils by Harold Bell Wright, uh, published in uh, 1903. And uh, there's a letter dated from the White House uh, by Ronald Reagan, uh, March 13, 1984, to his family, uh, expressing his thanks uh, to uh, their father, grandfather, uh, uh, that basically he had read this book, had found it in the library, read this book from yeah. cover to cover. Uh, after just after reading the book, he decided that he wanted to become a Christian. Went to a, a Baptist church, and uh, uh, in Dixon, where he was from, uh, and became uh, 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 baptized and became a Christian. And also, what he did is he, he wanted to use the term role model because that's kind of what he was. Yeah. A role model for him as yeah. he grew up. Now, uh, who drew that? You know, I'm not too sure. There's a. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I clearly can't read that. Mm. I really don't know the who who drew that. I don't. And is that Reagan as uh, well? This is this is Harold Bell Wright. Okay. That's a younger Harold Bell Wright. All right. Yeah. Let's go find some more toys. And here's kind of a, a, an advertisement of the book. You know, explain. There's the letter. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. All right. Now this this is amazing. Here's some wooden farm toys I honestly don't know how long this video is going to be you guys but I'm enjoying this like look at this old general store right there I'm trying to get a shot in it that is amazing But you guys, if you have never been here to Branson, like I said, this is my very first time coming here. So, I am, there's a train right there. That is amazing. But I am floored of everything that I'm seeing. And you can see it too. If you come to Branson, the world's most I don't know what this is called. I'll put it in the title. So, and here's some Popeye, some Garfield, Smurfs. Now those right there are the marionettes from a Christmas story. Or a Christmas Carol, I mean, sorry. This is amazing. But like I said earlier, if you have never been here, I highly suggest coming to Branson to the toy museum this place is actually amazing now this is awesome they got all tractors. these toys they got toys yeah they got oh, tractors. the tractors Dude. oh that is amazing Dude. right there Dude. now here are some more Toy uh, tractors. Actually, you know what? This is the transformer. I hope you guys don't mind my son. He's extremely excited to be here. So am I, but I'm not showing it. That is cool. They got, look at this, guys. Daddy. They got toys of the U Hauls. That is actually pretty neat. 
And look at the car right there. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. If anyone knows what Albertsons is, they have Daddy, a toy over here. semi of Daddy, Albertsons. Over here. That's cool. They got the they have the Lone Ranger. That's pretty cool. Wow. This is amazing. Again, I know I keep saying this, but this is absolutely amazing. And there's a photo I, right there. I think that's Wyatt Earp right there. That or Doc Holliday. I can't figure it out right now. Oh, this is amazing. This is one of my favorite TV shows back in the 80s. The Dukes of Hazard. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. They got the that Dukes of Hazard cool. electronic slot race set. I haven't seen one of those in 34 years or so. But this is awesome. Come here, guys. Come here. Jurassic Park. Oh, I want to see that. And there's a photo of Rick Hurst as Cletus. That's Do awesome. And freeze. Now look at this. Here's some Jurassic Park memorabilia. Jurassic Park. Do -do -do -do. Here are some robots. This place is amazing. Now, we're in the uh, second half of the museum. And look at this. Roy and Dale Rogers. Or, Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. This is amazing. Oh, I like that. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails highway. Wow. You guys, this is absolutely, I am mind blown. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Please do not play me. I'm very old. Thank you. Look at this old piano. I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog because this is an awesome place. Oh my goodness. Dude, look at all these guns though. As an avid gun owner myself, I am in awe. I really, this is amazing. Wow. Ooh, look at this guitar. That is amazing. There's some with Gene Autry. There's a statue. Wow. Wow. I'm I'm still in awe. Oh this is amazing. Oh look howdy doody. This is awesome. Black Beauty. Some more guns. Oh my god. This is awesome. A 1950s HS uh, Lost Pistol Model 9. 1946 Model 
137 Benjamin Franklin pistol. Wow. This is amazing. Alright. Look at all these cars. These are NASCARs. The, uh, this is amazing. I actually grew up. Uh, watching NASCAR, so looking at these reminds me of all the time I started watching NASCAR. And look at this. They got an Alan Kowicki car. Look at that. Alan Kowicki was a uh, famous NASCAR driver who died in 1993 in a, in a plane crash, actually. And there's a Jeff Gordon uh, Snoopy car. Oh, look at this. This is a uh, Brett Bodine. He's a former NASCAR driver. And here's. I believe this is Terry Labotti right there. This is amazing. Daddy! Daddy, Daddy! Now here are some more NASCAR die casts. That is amazing. That is a Data Learn Hertz number two before he started driving the iconic number three good wrench. Daddy! That is amazing. Daddy. Look at this everyone. Look at this everyone. My favorite TV show and one they made it into a movie Star Trek but look at this a Ken and Barbie Star Trek I've never seen that before wow this is absolutely amazing oh look Walt Disney's Tomorrowland Space Carnival. That's pretty cool. Here's some more Star Trek. This is amazing. Wow. Well, this is amazing. Oh, there's some photos of Mr. Harvey and his wife, Paul Jr. Let's see what's in here. Oh, look at this, you guys. Here is a train set. Man, this place is amazing. took no small effort to drag the cumbersome cardboard box from its hitting place in the unfinished space on the third floor of my parents' home. It is my very first memory, the sight, especially the feel, for some reason of the smooth cream colored enamel paint bars of my crib in my room in my parents apartment on the corner of Roscoe and Lakeshore Drive in Chicago. So this is Paul Harvey Jr.'s uh, what it would look in Paul Harvey Jr.'s uh, uh, bedroom. The son of 
the radio um, radio uh, pioneer Paul Harvey. Most everything around it, most everything around it is grown up now, but once upon a time, Reveal Ranch was nestled in the vast landscape of foothill farmland in what was then a largely unexplored, unexplored or at least uh, ignored region south of St. Louis. It quickly became the most important place in the world to me. Wow. I, this is mind blowing, you guys. And trust me, if you are loving this video, or if you're liking this video, go ahead and like, hit the uh, subscribe button because this is just insane. It is the wonder that I never wanted to leave the place and that each time I did in every place I journeyed to I was pursued by the glories that had filled my eyes. The field and forest in horizon cliffs, the columns of cloud like mist that clung to the Mississippi on autumn mornings like marching soldiers in the foxes that played at the edge of the woods on gleaming bright summer afternoons. Wow. This is absolutely insane. I absolutely love this museum. And you can too if you come visit in Branson, Missouri. And here's a photo of Paul Jr. on Christmas Day. Look at that old, old fire truck back there. That is amazing. Here's a coal case of Elvis Presley. Beatles over here. If his decision were yes, was the technology there? Back to the fifties. I would love to see that lit up. Dawn's early life, July 16, 1945, near Albergardo Air Base. There's 20 miles south of Albuquerque. One section had been detonated. It had been cradled atop a steel tower, surrounded by scientific equipment. Paul Harvey Jr.'s. Fearfully 1950s air display. Five and a half miles away, the brilliant flash of light made mountains ten miles of distant glow. Wow. Standing there was unleashed 
more destructive energy by four hundred times. Here is the man himself. The mushroom Paul Harvey. Seven and a half miles into the sky. The steel I miss tower, listening to him. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and I'll see you later. Till then, safe travels.